Okay, here's the truth. Being good in bed has nothing to do with how good looking you are. In fact, I found that many really good looking guys are not that great in bed. In fact, sometimes it's not pretty bad. <laughs> Having a lot of sexual experience does not equate to being good in the bedroom. Some people are good in bed, some people are average, and some people are awful. Women have their own ways of sussing out whether or not a guy is good in bed. But how can a man tell if a woman is gonna be a sexy, kinky machine, a dominant diva, a lazy lover, or a it's a man's job to do work in the bedroom kind of girl? Cause I know you must think about this when you're into a girl, is she good in bed? In this video, I'm gonna help you clue in on exactly what to look for to decipher whether or not a girl is good in bed by giving you 10 signs she's good in bed. So get ready because I'm about to unleash some dirty little secrets about women and what we do in the bedroom. I'm here to unleash all those dirty little secrets. So pay attention and keep watching. I'm Marnie and from here on out, I'm gonna be your very own personal wing girl. And it's my job to give you the no BS, honest truth about what women want versus what they say they want. Plus I tell you everything you need to know about what you can do to get the girls you want without looking like a creep or a nice guy. Now, I'm gonna put up new videos every Tuesday so keep an eye out for those videos and make sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button now so you never miss a video. All right. Let's get started. Before I jump in and tell you the 10 telltale signs that scream I'm going to rock your world, I wanna talk about things that are not clues that she's great in bed, but you may think that they are. So number one, she talks about sex a lot. And it seems like she always says, that's what she says to everything and can't stop making sexual references as everything you see or do or talk about, like your favorite pastime activities when you say, let's do it, or penis shaped food. This may be an indication of her being more sexually open, it doesn't mean that she's gonna be great in bed. Unfortunately, some women think that the only way to get good attention from men is to be overly sexual. And they in turn think that being sexy means talking about it all the time. As an example, I'm going to use an older reference here, but did you ever see American Beauty? Well, Mina Savari's character talked about sex all the time. She was crude and she was sexual. In fact, she had people fooled into thinking she was like the biggest sex addict. And it turned out in the end that she was a virgin. Many women use sexual talk as a way to cover up their lack of experience. And we all know lack of experience does not mean great in bed. If she can talk the talk with you, awesome. But don't be fooled into thinking she can walk the walk actually walk the walk. And here's a second misleading thing. She has a high number of notches on her bedpost. All women know that having a high number of sexual conquests means nothing in judging whether or not a guy will be great in bed. But do you know that about women? I've heard a lot of guys make assumptions about women with high numbers being amazing in bed, which is nothing but a myth. Just like men, women get around too. And a woman who can jump from lover to lover might mean that she isn't taking the time to perfect her craft. It's like playing sports. You can spend one day playing a game of basketball with your friends, then the next day, baseball, the following day's volleyball or something, and so on and so on. But unless you commit time and practice to learning what the opposite sex wants, you or she will not become the best lovers. So if you hear she's never had a serious boyfriend, be forewarned because it may mean that she's never had the time to practice becoming an animal in the sack. And now that that is all cleared up, here are the 10 signs that she is great in bed. Number one, she carries herself with confidence and sex appeal. A woman that walks around and carries her body like it's something to adore and behold means that she treats her body good, which also means she'll be just as excited to treat your body good too. When a woman knows exactly what to wear and how to maximize her sex appeal, it means that she's very in tune with her own sexual prowess. And women who know how to flaunt it rarely come up short when it comes to pleasing men. These are the ladies who pride themselves on knowing exactly how you want to be touched, what you want to see, and all the dirty things you want them to do to you or to themselves or to their girlfriends that they bring into bed with you. So if she's just oozing with sex appeal just from looking at her, chances are she's packing even more heat and fire underneath it all. 
Number two, she's not afraid to let loose. A girl who doesn't care if people see her singing Miley Cyrus at the top of her lungs or isn't afraid to go skydiving has lower inhibitions than most. A woman who isn't concerned about what other people think or how she'll look isn't going to worry about what she looks like in the bedroom, if she's sexy enough or be that self-conscious in general. She'll be more inclined to be in the moment rather than in her head wondering if you like her, which is gonna make your time together that much more fun and enjoyable without awkward silences and wondering if you're giving her a good time. These are the girls who aren't afraid to try new things with you, take your suggestion, or tell you how to drive them wild in return. Number three, she's a touchy, feely, sensual woman. A girl who rubs herself, arms, shoulders, neck, legs in your presence thoroughly enjoys her own sense of touch. And if she would like to enjoy you touching her body later, she's gonna prep herself for it by touching herself until you take over. If she initiates physical contact or reciprocates yours, she understands that the earlier you start the sexual vibe, the more time tension has to build and the bigger the eventual release. She may touch your shoulder, caress your arm, and or hold your hand when she leads in close and talks to you. It's a way of awakening her senses and women who are in touch with their own bodies aren't afraid to get down and dirty with them or with you. Number four, she's a great kisser. I'm just thinking about women who are great kissers right now. If you think a girl is a great kisser, chances are she's even better in bed. Kissing is like dancing in that it takes two people to connect and move with one another. One person might be doing their own thing while the other needs to follow along or both people might have their own dances that they want to do and not necessarily go well together. So two great kissers can be horrible together. Chances are if you like the way she kisses you, then she is a good match for you and you'll be great in the bedroom together. Number five, she's a good dancer. Even if you're not, the way she moves her body vertically may be an indicator of her horizontal skills. Women who are good dancers know how to move their bodies to the beat. They appreciate swaying themselves around rhythmically and enjoy letting loose in the moment. This is a clear indication of a woman who is in tune with her body, knows just how to move it in the moment, and will move and grind and gyrate just as seductively in bed as she will on the dance floor. Number six, she's open to any suggestions you have and will try anything. A girl who is generally open to suggestions outside the sack will most likely be the same way in the bedroom. These are the ladies who will never knock anything until I try it once. The ones who aren't afraid to experiment in bed and the ones who have no problem trying out their own mind-blowing tricks on you. Number seven, she really enjoys her food and takes her time with it. This may sound a little bit off, but satiating one's hunger is on par with satisfying one's sexual urges. And I'm serious about this. A woman who takes the time to really taste her food and enjoy it, who can moan in delight while she savors it, is a woman who can spend time appreciating and enjoying sex in the moment. You won't always get a chance to see a woman work over an ice cream cone or provide some other obvious oral showcase. Still, whenever things are going in her mouth, she has an opportunity to employ the oldest of sexual metaphors. Does she pummel through her meal in less than 10 seconds, which I do sometimes, or does she take her time to savor each and every bite before picking up another bite, closing her eyes and saying, mmm, with every enjoyable taste, taking no less than 10 minutes to eat her meal. The image of a woman eating an ice cream cone or seductively licking a lollipop actually does hold true. A woman who respects her food and how it makes her feel will definitely appreciate how good you make her feel in bed. Number eight, she has no problem telling you what she likes and doesn't like and is eager to hear your likes and dislikes as well. An outspoken woman is one who is in tune with what she likes and what she doesn't like. She also has no problem letting guys know. This means you're not gonna have to wonder if you're doing a good job, wonder if she's having a good time, if she wants you to do something different, if she's into the new move that you try. She's gonna tell you, and not in a bitchy way either, in a, oh baby, I love it when you do that, or oh, it gets me really hot when you do this. And a woman who has taken the time to learn what her sexual wants and needs are will be just as inviting to hear yours as well. Number nine, she works out. Physical conditioning is fundamental to good sex. It's also a way for a woman to take care of her body and have it functioning at optimum levels. A woman who takes care of her body usually has higher self-esteem and feels more physically confident, AKA sexier about herself. She conditions her prized assets, is proud of how she looks and knows how to keep herself functioning at her best, both in and out of the bedroom. After physical chemistry, probably the biggest factor that goes into whether you'll have good sex 
to someone is the physical shape that you're both in. After all, it's not only for aesthetic reasons that men today admire tight abs and strong thighs in a woman, right? Number 10, she takes the time to pamper her own body in many ways. And this goes in line with working out. Not only does she know how to work her body into shape, she also knows how to take care of her body and do what makes her feel good. And again, a woman who knows how to make her own body feel good is gonna be just as eager to return the favor to you. This says that she enjoys the pleasure of touch and isn't afraid to bask in it. She's even more inclined to be great in bed if she's just as eager to give you back massages and foot rubs. A woman who has no problem rubbing down her man gets even more turned on by being able to please his body. All right, so there you have it, the 10 most telltale signs for knowing if a woman will be amazing in bed. I know I check off all 10. <laughs> Even if a woman gives off a sexual vibe in any of the ways mentioned here, remember that these are all just signs. The best way to tell if she's great in bed is to get in there and be great in bed yourself. We both know that trying to understand women is not the easiest thing in the world, but knowledge is power and with these 10 signs, you're now halfway there to becoming every woman's ultimate fantasy. Now it's time for you to go and figure out what it takes to give off all the right signals that will make any woman wanna see what you're like in bed. Think you got what it takes? Well, don't worry because I've got you covered in that department too. The best way to find out if a woman is great in bed is to get into bed with her, but you're gonna need to make sure you have what it takes to get the woman of your dreams wanting you just as bad as you want her. And to do that, you need to know how to effortlessly flirt with women and escalate your interactions all the way to the bedroom. The truth is, is that most guys suck at doing this. They can't flirt their way out of a paper bag. But as your personal wing girl, I can't let you be one of those guys, can I? That's why I want to show you the most effective step-by-step -step formulaic approach to flirting with any girl that you like. This formulaic approach has been tested on thousands of girls and has proven to work like magic. You just apply the formula and see results instantly. It's literally that powerful. To find out everything about this flirting formula, click the link on your screen now or the one in the description box. I made a special free video for you where I reveal what this formula is all about. Just click the link below in the description box now or somewhere on the screen to watch the video. I'll see you there.